95.5 WFMS with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Can't be Deb. No, you can't. Can't be Deb. All right, it's time for another exciting round of Can't Beat Deb. Say hello to our contestant. It's Brooks. Good morning. Brooks, uh, are you ready to play Can't Beat Deb? I sure am. Okay, here we go. I'm going to ask you five questions. I'll ask Deb the exact same five questions. If you get more right than Deb, you win. But if she gets more right than you, or if she ties you, then she wins because, of course, the game is called Can't Beat Deb, not Can't Tie Deb. And if you're ready, let's start with question number one. 47% of Americans will go somewhere for the holidays this year. What is the number one family vacation spot in the USA? Um, I would say Disneyland. Question number two. According to a new poll, the Christmas gift we should give to the person who has everything is chocolate. Chocolate is considered the perfect gift. What type of chocolate is the healthiest? Um, white chocolate. Question number three. Hormel was selling bacon-wrapped paper that smells like bacon but sadly it's sold out what percentage of bacon sold is eaten for breakfast is it 50 percent 70 percent or 90 percent well i love bacon so i'm gonna go with 90. all right question number four two-thirds of sports fans admit that they can be a bit superstitious on game day what team has won the most super bowls i know it's between two of them so I hate to say it, but maybe the Patriots. All right, and question number five. Fun fact, there's a federal law that bans living people from being featured on any currency. Who is on the penny? Lincoln. All right, there's your five questions. Let's bring Deb back into the room and see how she does. Can't be Deb. No, you can't. Can't be Deb. Okay, Deb, welcome back to the room. Say hi to your contestant, Brooks. Hi, Brooks. How are you? I'm good. No, he did. He did really Sounds well. Sounds very by the awake, way. which is not good. He, he, my, you know, he did. He did an excellent job. Good by news the way, for me. Okay, I don't even yeah. hear how he did. By the, by the way, he did really okay, good. Just so move just on. Let you know. All right, uh, if you're ready, Deb. Here we go. Question number one: Forty-seven percent of Americans will go somewhere for the holidays. What is the number one vacation spot in the USA? Oh, uh, it has to be Florida. That's correct. Now, sadly, Brooks said Disneyland, which would be California. Oh, no. Uh, So uh, I would have taken Disney World, but not Disneyland, so I can't give him the point. So it's now Deb 1, Brooks 0. Question number two. According to a new poll, the Christmas gift that we should give to the person who has everything is chocolate. It's considered the perfect gift. What type of chocolate is the healthiest? The healthiest, I think it's good for your heart, is uh, dark chocolate. That's correct. Uh, Brooks guessed white chocolate, which I thought that would be a good one too. It's but unfortunately, good. I don't it's like chocolate. Oh, so there you go. You know Brooks, he has a good I, reason. I don't either. I don't really care for it. Well, you knew the answer, so yeah. you get the point. So it's Deb two Brooks zero. Question number three: Hormel was selling bacon wrapping paper that smells like bacon, but sadly, it's sold out. What percentage of bacon sold is eaten for breakfast? Is it fifty percent, seventy percent, or ninety percent? Oh gosh hate these percentage questions Mm -hmm. how in the world would i know so what percentage is eaten for breakfast what was the middle one it's 50 percent, 70 percent, or 90 percent i'm gonna go with shoot i'm gonna go with 90. Ah! 70. uh it is 70 percent. sadly brooks who is a bacon fan oh uh, he guessed 90 percent. so nobody scores it's deb two brooks zero question number four Two-thirds of sports fans admit they can be pretty superstitious on game day. What team has won the most Super Bowls? I want to say it's the New England Patriots. You want to say, but is that what your guess is? That's my answer. That would be correct. And Brooks knew that, too. Brooks actually knew it was between two teams. It's also the Steelers. They both have won six, so would have accepted either one. But everybody scores. It's Deb 2, Brooks 1. Question number five. I only have two points? No. I'm sorry. It's Deb 3, Brooks (laughs) 1. Fun fact. There's a federal law that bans living people from being featured on any currency. Who's on the penny? I hate when you do this. <laughs> I hate when you do this, but I, actually, I think I know this one. It is uh, Lincoln. Are you sure? Hit the bell. 
That's correct. <laughs> and Brooks knew that too, so everybody scores. It's Deb four, Brooks two. Sadly, Brooks, wah, wah. you were not able to beat Deb today. <laughs> That's all right. So, Brooks, this now time for you to say those famous words. I'm Brooks from Brownsburg, and unfortunately today I cannot be dead. <laughs> Ooh, I like how he said today. today he implies that he's ready for a rematch. Well, he, he implies that tomorrow would have had a different results. That's how I took it. Yeah, no. That's how I took it. Hey, if you'd like to play Can't Be Deb, log on to WFBest.com and sign up.